What's going on guys? This is Austin with Hot Rod Heaven. I'm here with Steve today to talk about his sweet Corvette here. It's a 64 Corvette, right? Correct. What was kind of the reason behind getting the, the 64? Well, I've always wanted a C2 and contrary to most people, they want the split window. I, I'm not a split window guy. Yeah. And I got this at Meekum, not this past year, but the year before. I go every year. So they send out the catalogs and all that. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. Once I saw it in person, I knew I wanted it. So I got my son involved to convince my wife. And <laughs> we pretty much went from there. Yeah, you had a little tag team. Sometimes you got to do that. Yeah, man. no, you try exactly. To get some and it was on his birthday weekend. Oh so, man, it was a perfect situation so, for you. Yeah. What kind of got you into hot rods and wanting a Corvette? Because I see you kind of got some Fords back here. So yep. why the Chevy and what kind of got you into this world? Well, actually, my grandfather had a 54 Bel Air. He lived up north. I lived down here, but we went up on vacation, spent time with him. So I was, you know, seven. So I think that was probably the start of me realizing how much I liked cars and totally. the whole community. Fast forward 20 years, I got a 54 Bel Air. And actually, we got the 54 Bel Air from my grandfather after he passed away. Oh, that's awesome, man. I got the four GTs. Those were my ultimate dream goal cars since, you know, Hot Wheels, yeah, Matchbox, totally. it was always the GT. So that, I mean, it was just never even a thought that it would happen. So. Yeah. So it was Rudder's Rods out of Tennessee built it and they built it for Doyle Thomas, who's a huge collector and he owns a bunch of Whataburgers out of Texas. Okay. So he's a Whataburger guy, but they still build all his cars till today. So I'm like, oh, well, they must be good then. Yeah, so totally. If he still uses them. And so basically they build several cars for him and then do the good guy circuit, travel with all his cars and then I think at the Meekum, the auction I got this, he probably had 20 cars for sale. Jeez. And yeah, he's, his collection's ridiculous. Yeah. So that's how I was able to pick it up. I mean, he has his own logo and you can see it like on the wheel, on the hubcaps, okay. on the dash. It's all Doyle Thomas yeah. collection. At least it's a cool name. And it's cool too, Whataburger. I grew up kind of yeah. eating Whataburger too, so that's, that's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, they call it the Water Collection. Oh, I so, like that. Yep. That's cool. All right, Steve, so let's talk about what's under the hood. Obviously, this is not original and this ain't a... No. 327 in this baby. Tell us what you have power in this thing. So this is a LS3 crate motor from GM with Holly EFI on it. It's not built up much. It's 430 horse and it has a Tremec TKX six speed in it. I do kind of like that they put the LS in here. Like I said, I'm a four guy, so I love coyotes, but still with the LS, it's really nice because it is on a reliable motor. You can take this if you wanted to on like a road trip and oh, drive yeah. it for a long time, which is, yep. is super nice. And you could build it up, which I probably won't. I say that with all my cars, but I always end up doing it. So you never know, but yeah, the LS platform, you can do anything to them and parts, everything, it's readily available. So they made all their own panels. These are the only two, this side and that side actually come out, which batteries on that side, all fuses, everything's behind here. Your air filters down below. So it was just completely encased and finished off, but it's all handmade. Super custom. Yeah. The valve covers are custom from greening. The exhaust, I don't know what the headers are. The exhaust has electronic cutouts to run out the back or uh, the sides and you can oh, really? adjust it anywhere you want. So I run it like 50, 50, cause I like the sound of it's good and it's still comes out both yeah. sides, so it's pretty cool. What about the brakes on here? Cause that's a pretty trick master cylinder. It's all Willwood brakes all the way around. They're yeah. all six piston. The wheels are forged line. They were custom made three piece. Once again, with Doyle Thomas's logo there. Yeah. So no matter what, it's still his car, I believe. <laughs> it's red line race tires. And then it's 18s and 19s. So it's all JRI coilovers on the front and rear, but it's all Art Morrison chassis which is the big selling point to me because full chassis cars, I've, I've had several resto mods or I've tried to resto mod myself and I've done, you know, coil over changes and suspension changes. And no matter what you do, it still doesn't ride like a complete chassis. This was the first full chassis car I drove and I'm like, oh, I felt like I wasted all my money on all the previous ones because you just, throw money at it to try and get it better. If I just went with this from the get go, it's a complete night and day difference. So that was one of the biggest reasons I bought it and just the overall stance and everything. But yeah, it, it handles amazing. I road race and everything. So I do, I want to race it. I won't though. Yeah. But it's one of those that that's how good it is. I'd like to see what it does. 
Yeah, for sure. That's the tough thing is like when you buy something like this, especially with the kind of chassis it has, it handles like a dream. I'm sure it's really tempting, but it's like you look at it, you're like, ah, maybe yeah, I don't want to take still it on the track. Bar, yeah, it's, it's very hard to not do, but. Do you know if this is, did they repaint this or? Yeah, based on the paint codes, it was silver. Oh, wow. Which was one of like the rarest ones made. So they did repaint it a non-rare color, but this is a custom red. This isn't the original red or anything like that. I mean, nothing about its originals. Man, this interior is freaking beautiful. Tell me a little bit about what we got going on here. All right, well, it was a full custom build by uh, Paul Atkins. It's set up real nice. It has electronic e-brake. There's no keys, nothing. It's There's hidden kill switch on the car but everything's all push button. To oh, start. wow. It's all Dakota digital gauges, red on red on red on red. Yeah, even like the details of the power windows being in the center instead of on the doors. The push button for the doors in here. So yeah, you got, it's oh. very clean. Oh yeah, there's no handles no or handles, anything. Nothing yet. Wow, dude. The cup holder, yeah, probably you... the world's most useless cup holder <laughs> ever, but. Yeah, I was looking at that too. I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, you can get out you with can that poke angle. It at an angle. Yeah. You got to have like this, those little mini water bottles yeah. if you want to use that. You can fit that. a Red Bull and you have to drink it halfway down <laughs> first, otherwise it'll For dump real. out. Well, cool. I think that kind of wraps up the interior here. I say we get a camera in the car and go for a cruise. All right, sounds good. All right, let's do it. Before we hop in the ride, we do have some shirts for sale. So if you want to support the channel, keep this thing going. We have that linked in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. <laughs> yeah, I was literally, that's funny that you said that. I was thinking that exact thought that in that moment, it is definitely a tight, yeah. a tight fit. Even for me, I'm a smaller guy, so yeah. I that's can, why uh, if I stall, it's because my knees hit the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this would be fun to take on the track. Oh yeah. I'd be scared to do it, Yeah, that's but the thing. it would be fun. It would be really hard for you to do it, I feel like, because you're, you're already so tight in this thing, you know what I mean? listen to that all day and that's what's fun too it's a stick shift so yeah that was the other big reason yeah why because there are two cars at Meekum that I was going between and both 64s both C2s both rest of mods but this one had a much better stance and then it was a stick the other one wasn't so then it was like a no-brainer yeah definitely yeah having a stick shift car is definitely fun and it makes it like you feel more of a driver and I I don't mind automatics I mean I have automatic cars but there's just something about having a stick shift and you feel more one with the car you know yeah. especially in something like this oh yeah All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Steve, thank you so much yep. for taking the time and doing this. Super excited that we were able to uh, do this. Appreciate and you it's coming. It's such a cool car, too. So if you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.